Okay, so last night we looked at some ink contracts and um, one interesting thing that you see all over the place is uh, these different macros and attributes. Now, it is a Rust concept and you have two kinds. You have inner attributes and outer attributes and it's described pretty well here. Um, an, inner, an outer attribute is one we more com that we've more commonly seen. This is what we saw all over the place. We saw things like, uh, let's see here, storage and contract and trait definition and various things. And um, an outer is used apparently very much, sorry, an inner is used in things like crates. So let's look at some of these. Um, one thing that they point out in the documentation is that uh, you can put them together. So you see this example here where you have uh, three different macros and you then put them together on one line, which makes it much easier. Um, contract is obvious. That's how we tell it. It's a contract. Uh, anonymous to, uh, let's see, treat the ink event as anonymous, which omits the, so there's no uh, 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 event signature. So I guess it's similar to anonymous events and solidity. Constructor, again, you can have multiple constructors. We've seen this all over, the, we've seen this quite a bit. You can have, in this case, two different constructors constructors. Um, let's see, event, and these are uh, events within the contract. Implementation isn't used much, it's just telling uh, the uh, compiler this is, this is part of ink, this is not Rust. Now one thing I'd say this is, since these are Rust con, I mean, ink is built on Rust. These are Rust concepts, the concepts of these attributes and macros. So if you're going to, if you're going to get into ink, you should learn, it's, you should learn Rust. It's going to make your life a lot easier because you understand what's going on. So there, there's plenty of books out, there are books out there, there's uh, the documentation, so there's a lot of uh, ways to learn Rust, uh, and we can talk about them at a later date. Um, message. This is one, again, we see a lot. It tells it that it's something that can be called from the API. Uh, namespace, pretty common in other languages, lets you disambiguate. So you can have, if two things are named the same but they're in different namespaces, it avoids the confusion payable um, so allows receiving value as part of the call this is very similar to what we saw in in solidity um, selector select is an interesting one you you by default as they say here it creates its own selector but if you want to make sure and control the selector so you can change the name and other things and you're not going to break your code. This is why you would use selector. Storage. Okay, so there's only one and it, it it's where you store the contract's uh, data. So like in flip, that boolean that says whether it's on or off, that is put in storage. So the contract stored as opposed to memory, which goes away when, uh, you know, when the contract's not running. Um, topic tells um, field to indicate their topics. Uh, so it provides a topic. And I'm not that familiar with this, but it looks like, let's see. So it's part of an event. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, chain extension. In the default, con okay, smart contract can only interact with the run with the runtime 
via its well-defined set of smart contract interface. The API allows a whole variety of interaction between the palette, contract palette and execute smart contracts. Uh, the basic set of features are not enough for a particular substrate. So this lets you extend uh, the features here, the features of your contract. So, as you can see, these are very useful. The ones we've seen most, obviously contract is always there for a smart contract. Um, message has to be there because you have to have something to call. Payable, you'll see when you are doing some kind of transfer type of, uh, of coin type contract. Uh, storage is where you hold your data and those are the probably the most common ones that you will see in ink so we will probably see these as we work with ink and uh, hopefully this has been helpful if it has please give a like and uh, please uh, subscribe and ring the bell to get more videos and uh, I will speak to you next time